Skipping the commute has saved a lot of time over the past year. Researchers at Copilot estimated that Houstonians spend more than 10% of their work week in the car. But as our mental health and wellness expert Bill Prasad explains, others are craving that drive. Good morning. Do you miss your daily commute? Before you spill your coffee while launching into a resounding no, listen to this. Some people working from home are surprised to discover that the dreaded rush hour traffic or lengthy bus ride to work actually served a purpose beyond making them annoyed. For some, it gave them a chance to clear their mind and prepare for the workday. Others missed the clear dividing line between weekdays and weekends. Others missed the chance to call friends on their way home or listen to their favorite podcast or relax by listening to a recorded book. The Wall Street Journal tells us some former commuters have embraced a strategy to restore their travel ritual, the pretend commute. Some take short walks outside before their workday begins. Others get dressed in their work clothes, pour their coffee, and drive around the block a few times before returning home. Still others put the work laptop in a drawer at the end of the day, safely out of sight. Researchers from the University College London are calling for people to reclaim their former commuting time. They say the blurring of work and home roles during the pandemic could create burnout. They propose a pretend commute as an intervention. Maybe it's not a bad idea as long as you can pretend that traffic does not exist. I'm Bill Prasad, your mental health and wellness expert.